Now I've just opened up the power editor here and I want to show you how to get fast traffic from using Facebook ads. So um, I've mentioned this a few times in different videos. I just want to sort of explain it a little bit more in detail just with a generic example here. So what you want to do, let's say for example you want to do uh, clicks to a website link um, you know, for your Teespring account or um, Teespring campaign or whatever you're going to promote. So I go into not uploaded here in the power editor and click campaigns and let's create a new campaign and just call it um, sample uh, campaign for now. And then what you want to do is you see here it says auction type. You want to change that to fixed price. Okay. Click create and now we go ad set. Let's create your ad set. Set one. Create and so what we have here is we have to set an ending time and the amount of budget you want to do for this. And this is how you can get traffic really fast because if you do the traditional auction type where you do like 25 bucks a day sort of thing, it'll take all day before Facebook, well actually it'll take 24 hours before Facebook will actually use up that $25 and send you the traffic. For me, I'm really impatient. I need to see it right away. Traditionally, what I'd usually do is just list my campaigns really late at night, around 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I got like, you know, three, four hours um, before the next day comes. And then usually Facebook will eat up all that budget. But it looks like they've changed things around a little bit. And if you list at seven o'clock at night, they'll still only use a portion of your budget for that four-hour period. So they won't actually use up all your $25. They'll kind of still use it up for the next, you know, from 24 hours from when you list it. That's what I've been noticing. Um, it might not be exactly like that, but that's what I've noticed. So the only way to really eat up your budget right away and see whether or not you're, if you want to get traffic right away to see if your campaign is even going to convert at all, what you do is you have to do a, a lifetime budget. And so you can do that by setting it right here your lifetime so let's say it's 25 bucks right like like always um, then you want to select uh, they give you some rate cards and stuff just just leave that um, and you want to do your end time so your end date will be the same as this one so I just grab that control C on my keyboard and then control V and then it's you know 4 45 p.m. here and so what I'd usually do is I'll add like I'll do like um, I usually do three hours so I'll do 745 or I just go 8 actually just go 8 o'clock um, it has to be p.m. like that and that's all I would do I'd, I'd make sure it's three hours from now then I'd list it and then obviously create your ads and stuff I'd list it and then you just monitor your traffic right and I do I usually do if you want to get your traffic right away always do optimize CPM so if you go in and create your ad here, create ad, ad one, and let's just pretend we're creating an ad for, um, uh, let's say, uh, like the one we did in our other video series there, uh, like the the uh, Blackhawks one. So like, say you're creating that. Then you go through and do all your stuff like your tart, your your creative. If you can do an unpublished post or if you've posted on your page or whatever, audience select all your audience. But in here, your optimization or your uh, oh, it's showing up as multi premium. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, the targeting. That's why. So let's uh, do United States. Say we're doing our targeting. Just gonna quickly put something in there. It's doing. Oh, this is a little different. It looks like they've changed things around a little bit. But that's okay. In your ad set, you can actually define how much you're gonna pay actual number of impressions delivered is not guaranteed so let's say you want to get um, I want at least 10,000 impressions and they're offering you some rates here this is interesting
Okay, so in the rate at the very bottom, you want to select United States, and that's how many impressions you're going to get for 25 bucks. If you set it 10,000. Another one. So if you want 10,000 impressions, you got to pay $86. So that's kind of what they're they're saying here. Um, usually I like getting at least 10,000 impressions on something to see what's going on. So this is a way of just getting them to basically send you instant traffic and you pay for what you want. And usually the first traffic you pay for, you want to know whether or not it's converting. Um, just get one sale, right? If you know what sale you're getting and if you're tracking it, then you can, after you spend that money, come back and look into the reports and see where the sales are coming from, male, female, and what age groups, and then relaunch the campaign and then uh, target that age group in male or female and then just increase your budget again and reopen the the actual ad inside your ad manager to a later time. Now, to be honest, I traditionally do not do, not do it this specific way. Let me show you another way that I do it. So let me just go to campaigns and I'm going to delete this whole thing here. I create a new campaign. I actually do it the other way. So um, I'll go um, sample campaign. I'll do auction and I'll create an ad. Let's just do a real sample here. Ad set, set one, create. Leave it at 10 bucks. So you see here, at this point here, this is where I'd come in here and I can hit run ad continuously from start date. Just click that. And this is where I would enter in seven or eight, eight p.m. Whoops. You'll spend a maximum of dollar thirty in your campaign. You set ten dollars a day. And do twenty-five. So I do this, and I'll come in and create my ad here. That's another way I do it. And go through to create my ad and upload it. But basically, the idea is you have to set an end time, and then inside your fa Facebook later on, you can you can set that end time anytime you want. For example, let's take a look at a sample ad here. It's not a sample; it's an ad I'm running right now. Um, you could see it's going to ongoing up here. The schedule. Well, you can easily just come up here and you can set an end date and make sure this is lifetime so select lifetime and select end date and then save it and then that's how you can turn the auction style ad or ad set I guess into a lifetime budget sort of ad and that's what I do and I just and I keep looking at my stats to see if I got any um, got any clicks if I don't have any clicks I'll come in here and I'll increase it for like another hour and that's how you can get traffic a lot faster than waiting a whole 24 hours. You can actually get eat up your $25 budget within like an hour or two or something like that. So that's uh, another little trick to get pretty much quick, quick traffic from Facebook. Basically, you're just forcing Facebook to take your money so you can see whether or not your ad is going to perform.